way. But why not? 2022 Tierra. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, if I place my third pro, then freak. <laughs> So just met with Alexa again um, to go over our first day of workouts. It's legs and butt, and it is going to kill me, but I'm really excited. And we talked about the four plate, four um, divisions again. So we are going to do glamour, fitness model, fitness, and bikini. Um, and she's got a really positive vibe and really optimistic that we will place in the top three for She's really confident on glamour, and you know, hopefully we can get places in the other ones. Um, if I do place, then you get called up to the pros two weeks later, so that could be a possibility for your pro card, um, which is crazy to even think about, but why the not? So she asked if I did place, if I would wanna go to pros, and that'd be two weeks later in November, and 110%, yes, we would make it work. It was kind of awkward, it was good, but I definitely need some practice. It's definitely something I'm not used to. I'm used to just the strength, standard strength training right now. My heart rate, average 103, says active calories 362, and I don't usually ever go over 200. So that's really good. Definitely need some practice, but great first day. Excited, and now we're gonna go have date day. And breakfast. Refuel time. So day three of workouts first run through done um it's like 8 30 did the workout first thing this morning showered ready for the day dj's after school baby's just waking up had my breakfast um this morning i had 300 grams of egg whites which the carton says is one cup but it's definitely more than a cup anyways um 300 grams of egg whites with my peppers onions um mushrooms and turkey bacon all mixed into one kind of scrambled up and then one slice of 12 grain toast and I sprinkle the flavor god buttery cinnamon roll on it so it's kind of like you know when you're a kid you had like sugar cinnamon toast it's like that it's so good and I spray it with Pam first um so that's zero calorie and then so is the flavor god zero calorie and then I have half a cup of raspberries half a cup of blackberries so it's a really good start of the morning I have uh, my pre-workout still a banana um, I do a medium-sized banana and then do my workout and um, but I'm thinking I need to do more carbs after my workout um, and maybe less during the day and then some carbs right before bed. Um, but I'll see what Alexa says um, when I kind of tell her what my routine for eating has been lately. So this morning felt good. It was legs again. Um, definitely went a lot more fluid than my first two dip leg days and this was a different routine. Um, but I'm definitely getting kind of like her um, rhythm. Like, you know, everybody has kind of like their flow and their own kind of like design or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I definitely caught onto that a little better this morning. So I felt a lot of, a lot more things engaging. I was targeting the right areas. I was feeling the burns in the right places for the most part. So that's the beginning of day three. Waiting this morning at 141.4, I think. So I'm actually holding steady at 141. So I was just texting with Alexa, obviously not while I was driving, before I left, and um, what we were emailing this morning, um, I've just kind of had some questions about like treat meals, um, I'm pretty strict on them to begin with, I've just over the last year with trying to lose the 30 pounds, um, I hate having to come back from uh, a cheat meal, uh, cheating on a full weekend is like 30% of your week and that's just not worth it to me. Um, I've significantly cut out alcohol, um, like very, very minimal compared to what I used to drink. Um, people that know me know I could drink like a fish and I was drinking pretty much every day, you know, not 
copious amounts, but even just one or two glasses of wine is a lot of calories. Um, you know, and then sometimes it would be a bottle and then the weekends I could drink like bottles of wine, no problem. That's like almost a thousand calories. So, um, when it comes to weight loss and muscle gains, alcohol is your enemy between calories and the way it affects protein synthesis, um, affects your metabolism, makes you want to snack more, um, it affects if you YouTube what alcohol does to your body it's insane it makes you not want to drink anymore um, just because it's like why well, it's literally poisoning your body anyways um, I've never given it up completely because you know I am human um, but closer to show obviously when it comes time that I have to give it up I have no problem giving it up at all um, even if I had to give it up now for the next six months that'd be okay um, for results uh, but we talked about body percent fat. Um, I still don't know where I need to be for show, but I'm pretty sure it's around the 10 to 12% mark. Right now, she says I'm at a perfect body percent fat for training. Um, we don't want to focus on losing that fat right now. Um, we need to focus on the muscle gain. So the way of eating, what I'm doing right now is on point. That's where we're at today. Cheat meal, she's going to give me a little uh, four week kind of guideline of what I need to do for when I do want to have alcohol, uh, when I do want to have a cheat meal, um, ha like where it kind of falls. Um, tomorrow night we're going out for to Piatto's for like Firestone pizzas. That's honestly, I can make that fall into my macros if I really wanted to. The only thing is the cheeses, so like the fats, because pizza cheese, even if you have a little bit on there, they're very high fat. That's why they're melty and stringy. Um, that would consume my day of fats because I am so low fat right now. Um, but I'm okay for one night and I'll have a couple glasses of wine. I will enjoy my night out because having one good meal like that for me, um, will fill my void and I'm not going to feel like I need to pick at home or I'm, don't feel like I'm missing anything. Um, but honestly, there's nothing that I'm really, truly craving good steak supper. But again, I can make that fall into my macro crown for the day. As long as I don't choose too fatty of a cut. Um, but that's, that's kind of where I am right now. I'm not like even huge on, on on cheat meals. I mean, now I do like a good sweet here and there. So maybe that'll be it. Maybe I'll choose like a good day to do desserts. I will be going to IHOP one day though. I, I got to get a good stack of pancakes. I do love pancakes. So maybe that'll be it. Maybe it'll be a massive breakfast. Anyways. Um, so that's where we're at right now. So tomorrow I meet with her in the afternoon. We'll go over days five and six for training. Tomorrow I train legs again. So it'll be day four. Uh, of what we already went over and see how that goes to did this morning with shoulders like arms shoulders chest and man did I feel my shoulders like the fire in them that I have not felt before um so it was really nice to feel a change so I can just imagine what the next 12 weeks is going to bring doing this this uh this training program I'm really excited tomorrow's Friday the weekend is here stick to the strict weekend uh but stuff for tomorrow night so that's the update as of today, February the 10th. So just finished day five of my exercise routine. First I'm doing day five and it's legs and arms. My arms are like burning legs. So I just like a little workout, but nothing that's like killing me right now because it was just a couple uh, sets, but get some growth there. They used to be all flag. It's not flag anymore. It doesn't flag anymore. A little bit. Um, so it feels really good. So I'm kind of on my own for the next few weeks. I'll do check-ins with Alexa, but not like I have been. Just work on the workouts. Um, and the nutrition will come up 20 weeks out. We're 257 days away. Um, and after the cheat meal, Friday night, I didn't sleep. Um, my belly felt so sick. I indigestion I woke up with anxiety I just felt like crap and then the next day I just like the next morning since I didn't sleep well I ended up <clears throat> making yesterday my rest day because I just felt like crap and didn't feel like working out I just didn't have that like extra oomph so I figured I would take yesterday's my day off um and just get stuff done and then today would be day five and then tomorrow so I'm gonna miss day six this week I'm going to start tomorrow fresh as day one and then work my way through so that I have like a structured routine for the next 12 weeks um, and then go from there. So, hey guys, we are 253 days away from the stage and this is episode two of Journey to the Stage. 
Um, just a quick update. Um, this is my first full week of doing my new workout routine on my own. Last week I went through everything on Zoom with Alexa, my coach, and I am solo this week, so I'm really trying to figure it out. Um, how am I doing mentally? Um, it's frustrating. I'm not a person to be out of my element, I guess, like out of control. Um, I did human design reading a couple weeks ago and I am a control freak. And I guess I never really knew how controlling I was. Um, not in a bad way, I just like to have control over my, my routines and my things. Anyway, so having someone kind of switch my routine on me, which I knew was coming, it's still just an adjustment for me. And Danny and I are transitioning in the gym because now we're not doing the exact same routine. We are sharing the gym at the same time. So, you know, sometimes our routines clash, like he might need this, the squat rack and I might need it, um, so on and so forth. So we're really trying to make it work. He's trying to make it work more than me because he's a little more patient when it comes to this. Um, so I'm thankful for that today uh, because I have been getting frustrated and cranky. It's kind of killing my mojo in the gym when I was doing so well and I felt so good. Now I'm feeling kind of like, you know, you feel a little defeated when you feel like you're not good at something. So I just need to put my big girl panties on, find my lady balls and just basically give it my all. Um, I started setting my alarm for 4.15 now instead of 4.30 to make sure that I get up um, because now I have a nutrition guideline. It's not an exact plan. Um, I have macros, carbs, and fats to go by for every meal and she basically has everything set out for timing. Um, so I wanna make sure I'm on the timing. So now I have a pre-workout mural, which I didn't have before. I used to just eat post-workout and just do, I did a banana before actually. But now I do a banana, a shake with my Nutri-Nut, um, my powdered peanut butter with my banana. Um, and then I make sure I get that in and I have been doing pre-workout now. I've been taking the uh, Advanced Genetics uh, Warfare. Um, it says take two scoops, I've been taking one just to adjust myself to it and it actually has been going pretty good. So I'm actually liking that, it keeps me a little more focused in the gym. I just need to find my rhythm, that's all. So in my head I know I have to find that and I know I have to just push through it and figure it out. It's something small in the grand scheme of things. Um, it's just an adjustment. Uh, but other than that, I really like the workouts. They are hard, they are hurting muscles that I haven't used <laughs> maybe ever, I don't know. Um, or properly, it's making me really watch my form, do everything like correctly. Um, it's targeting all the right places. I'm noticing a difference already. I know it's only been a week, um, but I did start training legs oh, more often when I first decided to do this before I met with Alexa. So I have been training them, um, geez, maybe four weeks, whenever I decided to do this. Anyway, so I started doing legs about three times a week then and I'm noticing a difference in my leg, muscle growth, and my butt. I am still eating a nice calorie surplus. I don't know exactly how many calories I'm eating right now. I'm just going off of my macro count um, from Alexa, and I haven't even added that up, to be honest. I'm just kind of figuring it all out. Um, but I know I need to be a maintenance or a bit of a surplus just to be able to put muscle on. But you'd only be in an extra 100 calories a day to be able to put on um, muscle mass. So it might not be significant, but it's the right foods. Um, you know, I am a habit snacker and I need to get out of that habit and this is making me get out of it. It's making me eat properly and follow it. Now that I have it written on a paper, I have something to follow and I can't veer off of it because she knows everything. <laughs> she will know. I know she will know. Um, Cause it's just what she's done for 25 years. She's amazing. Um, so right now, we are not worried about fat loss, uh, even though it's been really hard on me having extra weight on my legs, because that's where I carry it, my legs and my ass. Um, there's a little bit of cellulite back. Of course, I never got rid of it entirely, but it was significantly gone. It's back a little bit more. Um, I feel like thicker on my stomach. Still, my weight number hasn't gone up, but it's just, you know, adjusting to a new diet plan. Again, in the different workout routines, my body's just shifting and all that fun stuff. So as a female, you know what it's like when you even put on five pounds, it just, you feel it. And I'm almost up 10 pounds and I feel it, but I'm okay with it because I know there's muscle underneath. I know someone might say, it's just, it's just small, you know, it's no big deal, but I'm telling you how I feel and that's how I feel lately. Um, I've been, you know, wanting to cover up more. I'm, I just feel it in my stomach. I, 
I don't feel as good in my skin right now and that's frustrating because I was feeling so good. But it's a mental thing and I have to work on that because I have to appreciate the whole journey and I don't wanna blink and look back and it's gone and I didn't appreciate every step of the way. Kind of like being a baby, right? Like you look back and you're like, oh my God, I miss things. I would rather enjoy this whole hard journey and look back and know that I gave it my all and know that I was present for everything. So mindset, I am, I have my poster that I see every day, um, the UFE one for the Howie Mayhem. I'm gonna be able to visualize that because I'll hit my subconscious and I will be able to register every day that what I'm doing is what it's for. Um, you know, and I'm really trying in my head all day long is positive affirmations. Like I am strong, I am, uh, you know, like things like that, that I'm really just trying to tell myself, like, you know, we got this, we're good. And I've always been pretty good at just, you know, bucking up when I have to, but right now I have to. And I don't wanna fall off the wagon. Um, with my new nutrition guidelines, I have a cheat meal, a treat meal, um, every two weeks. So we did, we went to supper last weekend, or this weekend that just passed, we went out to supper with Matt and Steph and went to Piatto's and pigged out on pizza and starters. And then we went to this dairy bar and I ate like a massive Sunday. It was like a sort of on the head and I ate the whole thing and I don't do dairy, so I died. And this is what Gary does. Yep. It's a dairy food baby. Oh, it wasn't. See, that's not worth it to me. If I had stopped at the pizza, I would have been like stuffed, but okay. But I pushed it with the dessert, and I just shouldn't have done that. My body's not used to so much processed sugars and dairy, so it was a double whammy. You know, kind of a. I, I, I hurt myself. Anyway, so my guidelines are every two weeks for a cheat meal, treat meal. Sorry, I don't want to call it a cheat meal. A treat meal every two weeks right now um, for the time being that'll change real quick and whatever I can eat in 90 minutes and man you'd be surprised what I could put away in 90 minutes <laughs> like my full calorie intake in a day I could eat in 90 minutes so I'm gonna enjoy it um, we're already planning our next meal probably gonna be sushi I just feel better when I eat something that's a little bit cleaner and just more of it um, but then I'm craving a burger too. I think that'll be in my future. Um, so that's where we're at right now because we're not worried about the fat loss. We have me at about 18 to 20% body fat, which is great for building muscle. Um, you don't want to be too lean because it's too hard. Um, we're going to start posing in March. Um, we're already starting to look at some bikini designs for my costume. There is a girl who competed a few years ago selling her bikini. It was 1500 when she had it made and she's selling it for 300. It's beautiful. It's got like gold and iridescent and white. And it's exactly what I was thinking for my Halloween costume, which I will come up with eventually, but I just need to make my mind up about it for sure. But then I also have glamor and glamor is like crazy fun. Like you get to do like wings or like feathers. And then like, of course you have the sparkly bikini, but it's like way more jazz stuff, which is like right up my alley. I'm super excited about that one kind of wondering about the whole costume change thing though, but I I feel with Halloween, I think that they have it so that you're supposed to be able to change because I know the women do have different suits. Um, so they've got to have some kind of flow. Anyway, so that is my first update um, after last week. So have to stay on course, have to do the meal prepping, just like I tell everybody. And I have to trust the process because I know I have to be like this right now to be like that down the road. And honestly, one other thing I told Danny is like, I'm almost embarrassed to tell people I'm doing this bikini contest because they feel like they're gonna look at me and be like, why? Like, where's your body? Like, girl, are you crazy? But I know they call this improvement phase. This is my improvement stage. And then we move on to prep, which is when it gets like shredding. And I know underneath of this, I can feel the muscle. I know it's there. It's just hard up here. Anyways, thank you guys for watching my next update. Um, I'll try to do one every week. Um, I, you know, it's kind of like weather pending. It's Deegan pending because he's like a tornado. Yeah, he is. And I even had a medium reading yesterday and she even told me how psycho my son. I'm like, yeah, I am well aware. He's nuts. So he's my second workout of the day. 
all day, every day. Anyways, thank you guys to your episode two of Journey to the Stage. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe The Chronic Optimist.